Karma, which is going to be their mild sauce. Um, definitely, I love I love the logo on Karma sauce. Um, I love how they're doing their labels. It's different. The yin and yang with the peppers is absolutely timeless. It's very cool. Um, I I mean I'm I love that kind of uh, uh, thought process. That Buddhist that you know that that kind of thought process. I've got an Om symbol tattooed on my arm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love that that kind of um, quality, that thought process, everything about it. It's very cool. Let's see what we got going on as far as the ingredients are concerned here. We got bell and habanero peppers, butternut squash, apple cider vinegar, onions, sweet potato, New York honey, garlic, salt, and ginger. Same ingredient list as the last sauce. So curious how it's going to be a little bit different. This is going to be good karma. Let's see what we got going on. Wow. Oh, what's up, Chase? A lot more bell pepper in this recipe. A lot, lot, lot more bell pepper. You know, one of my favorite... My favorite things, hands down, when I go to a party or I'm throwing a party, is when there's a vegetable platter out. Uh, you know, some nice, fresh, uplifting, bright flavors from some bell peppers and a little bit of dip, some hummus or some ranch or, you know, whatever. But that it's that watery freshness is that a bell pepper provides. It's not sweet, but it's just, it's almost like, it's almost like when you have herbs in, in like a dip or something like that, and or in a sauce, and it just, that, that freshness that that greenage brings right away, and you can tell that that's what's bringing that. It's the same thing with the bell pepper. That, that freshness, that wateriness, that, that, that just really good classic flavor. I, I almost feel like I'm smelling, um, I'm like I'm smelling a bell pepper with a little bit of honey drizzled on it. It smells so good. <laughs> we already shaked it up. Shake it up. So we're going to go ahead and get some of this out here. Let's give it a little bit of that consistency. It does seem a little bit thicker. So, that freshness from that bell pepper, especially because there's a lot more bell pepper, wow, has brought out that flavor of the butternut squash. It's like the bell pepper and the butternut squash are dancing. Um, wow. Very unique. Um, very, very unique, um, and definitely, definitely mild. Um, it's, 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 un, it's on an, a level where it's, it, the heat's not really there whatsoever. It just really isn't, but the flavor is, is super, you get, and honestly, you get a little bit of the ginger and the tail end of that too. You finally pick up that, the, the smaller ingredients because, because, there's so much bell pepper that it's kind of almost like a blank canvas because it's not like too overwhelming of a flavor palette that you get everything else in the spectrum of the sauce. That's really good. Um, that's a nice, that's a nice like 8.7 out of 10. That's a very good sauce. Um, I'll honestly, dipping some bell peppers in that might be like freshness times two, freshness squared. Um, it's, it's very delicious. 8.7 out of 10, um, non-existent heat, but very, very good quality sauce. Um, that's good karma from Karma Sauce. Please go check them out. Uh, they're on Facebook, Karma Sauce. Um, I don't know, uh, I don't know, but like besides their website, I don't know that they have any other like social media pages. Um, made out of the great state of New York. Please go check them out. Good karma. Tell them Pepper Bay sent you. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. 
That's really good. 